What's up guys? Welcome back to Jungle. Back to another video and in today's video we are literally all over the place. I am so sorry for this video. If you guys literally see me being all over the place it's because we did a lot in this video. We got some parts for the M5. We uh, pretty much started working on the M5 and then we pretty much started putting some carbon fiber stuff on my friend's M4 and uh, yeah I kind of just blew the, the thumbnail of the video. Um, I, I, I missed April Fools and at the same time I really wanted you guys to check out this video because he put so much carbon fiber bits on my friend's M4. So I had to use a little a bit of clickbait, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I mean, I, I put a question mark. I'm not really trading, but still bringing you guys that amazing content. So let's go ahead and hop into the video. We are heading down to AutoGator right now, and uh, hopefully, I ordered a front radiator core support piece. And I, I paid them $135. Typically, AutoGator is pretty generous um, when it comes to their parts, but they are just saying the center on bolt piece. So if they're saying just the center on bolt piece, this piece I can get for $65 or even a pick and pull for like $20. So um, I'm gonna go look at it. If it's exactly one piece, I'm gonna be like, yo, that's a rip off. I'll pay the 20% restocking fee and just return it. Uh, but if it is the whole front end, we do have the truck ready to take it all. I would be super excited. So uh, either we got a smack around good deal or we got ripped off so i'll keep you guys posted once we get there finally made it to autogator guys and we pretty much got everything we needed so that was a pretty good score so yeah guys after we left autogator and thankfully we got all the parts we needed for the car i was super 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 happy we got pretty much all the front end stuff so all we need now is literally a hood and we need what else what else what else a headlight and we're pretty much ready to go if any of you guys are selling a headlight know of anyone that's selling a headlight for the e60 2008 and up lci let me know, I need the passenger side. We're doing good on that. The next thing is my boy Devon hit me up saying he has a battery that we bought for the X5 that I built a long time ago, one of these older X5s. I bought a battery for that car, apparently it went bad, so he bought a new one, and that battery is registered under my name, so I went ahead and took it back to Costco to see if they'll go ahead and return it, and uh, they did. They actually took it back, they gave me the refund, then I was gonna head to AutoZone, but then I got stuck up at Pick Pull because Pick Pull just got an E60 in. Didn't find any good parts, just one good part, and that's it. But other than that, headed off to AutoZone, and um, yes, we got a new battery, boys. So we finally got a new battery for the E60 M5, and we are heading home to install it. All right, guys, new battery in. We're hoping you have the little jumper thing on the front, too. It's not it's not plugged in, but we got it. We're, we're about to do it. We're hoping with the new battery, maybe somehow, maybe some reason it will start. <laughs> so that would be awesome, honestly. I mean, the, the price that we got the car for, I'm really like not, how do you say it, like not optimistic? Optimistic? I'm not optimistic. That Non-optimistic? No, I'm optimistic. How do I say That's good. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Except, by the way guys, this is Blake behind the camera again, so. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys? Uh, we're gonna do some carbon on my M4 in a minute, but yeah, we're working on the M5 and hoping, I guess we can just say we're hoping, right? Yeah. Hoping this damn thing is gonna work and we're gonna hear some like, some freaking V10 action, dude. 500 horsepower. S85, ooh, goodness. You're gonna have to be the first one that drives it because I can't handle 500. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, new battery in the car. That, let that fuel tank prime, you know what I mean? Yeah, maybe give it that uh, that little, everybody's saying, hit the gas, nor hit dude, the I gas. Do, I swear, like I did it, but the thing is it, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. All right, ready? Yeah. Oh my God, my heart hurts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's, it's misfiring for sure. Is it? It's definitely misfiring. Like, like it's starting. It's running on like. Do it, do it, do it again. I'll get back here. I'll show you. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, V tens are kind of burly. They kind of got that rasp, but do it again. Once it starts up, give it a little boop boop boop. Try to like. Oh, you are. Yeah. Oh nope. I heard it. Ready? Oh, dude. So to tell you the truth, it smells super rich. Like. Like, like spark plugs. Like, I mean, it just smells like fuel back here. So like, there's a chance maybe the spark plugs are tossed. Also, I mean, we don't know. So I actually do have a little bit more hope. So Nick, he's gonna be getting home later today and he's gonna be getting into the car. He's gonna be trying to reprogram a bunch of things and just reset all the computers. And we're gonna go ahead and give it one more crank when he's here. And if it turns over, it turns over. If it doesn't turn over, hopefully he should get some codes that BMW would get because again, he's using BMW software. Um, so we're gonna hope to God we can figure out something later tonight, but we have a new battery in the car, which means it should have enough juice to give it a few cranks later tonight. So uh, for the meantime, um, I do have 
some carbon we're gonna be putting on Blake's car. <laughs> What's up guys? So I'm Blake from Blake's Garage. I have a YouTube channel. Got BMW stuff, if you guys didn't know. Helped Nor with this bad boy the other day. And now this is my daily driver. <laughs> he's been driving, he's been putting a hundred bucks on it uh, probably every two days. Like <laughs> Pretty that. much, dude. Just filling that gas tank up. Oh man. But uh, let's go up here, let's check out the M4. So if you guys don't know, I got a bunch of carbon, let me close my door. <laughs> I got a bunch of carbon fiber mods in for my M4 uh, when we had it. After SSR, my goal was to put on all the carbon fiber stuff uh but end of the day um it didn't work out the car didn't make it home unfortunately as you guys know and uh i still have the carbon fiber goodies and blake yep. has an m4 yep. and he doesn't have carbon fiber goodies and we know brian a keys he yeah, hooks it up we both with work with carbon. keys so you know what i figured might as well might as well put it on the man's car plus if you guys haven't seen his m4 it is a beauty. It just needs a bigger diffuser because that thing's this weak. I'm yeah, sorry. It's pretty weak. <laughs> it's got a little bit of like, eh, it's got a slight wonk to it. It's yeah. Like slight wonkage. Like this should be all, all the way a up. A little bit tighter. Um, then we need to put a front lip on. I had a front lip on. It's seen abuse. It's been on the car for three years. The car's pretty low. It doesn't look that low. Uh, right now, let's go take a peek at the front. These are just on springs? Yeah, this is a Swift uh, R spring. Wow. Yeah, that is. Seat. Dude, it's that like, is low. <laughs> it's this thing. So when the splitter's on, you get like, I don't know, three fingers in that. Uh, you sure you actually want to put that on? Yeah. <laughs> now the question is, can we get out of the driveway? We'll we'll try that one in a little bit. But, don't uh, kill me, Brian. <laughs> it's not my car. <laughs> We're gonna be like, hey, I'll tell you what, every time I pull into my driveway with this car, I scrape. So No, I mean that's inevitable. Yeah. As long as you don't rip it off. No, you know. it doesn't rip off. Yeah, yeah, that's Usually good. pretty good. So uh, Dude, these headlights too look super good. What year is this? So this is an 18, so it is Okay, LCI. so it's LCI. These are, yeah, these are the lights that most people don't have because most people get the fancy lights, the LEDs. Oh well these are what are they? Oh, these are LED, but not fancy LED. Bro, but they look way better than mine. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely love like the facelift style front headlights. It makes a huge difference on the front end of the car. Um, they work great at night too. Yeah. So. So let me go ahead and get all the boxes. I don't know exactly where they are. My dad moved them, but I'll get back to you in a little second. So guys, we do have a couple boxes here. This is actually the F82 carbon fiber seat back overlay. So these are super, super, super cool. I have to show you guys this once we install on Blake's car. Uh, also, this I believe is the diffuser or the lip. I don't know, this has to be the lip, right? Uh, yeah. That's, that's probably the lip. Oh dear heavens, this thing's big. Light, but big. <laughs> and then this one, obviously, this is gonna be the diffuser. So um, front lip, we're gonna have to throw it on. Uh, the front lip, we might have to take off the bumper. Have you ever installed the, I don't know. Did you uh, take off your bumper? I didn't. Okay. But. It gets, well, we'll see, we'll see. Anyhow, and then the rear diffuser one, um, it's it's the three piece one. So from what I saw, it even has a kind of like these side bumper extensions and then it has it it, it has a lot more presence. Yeah, I'm so, excited because I have no clue what this looks bro, like. Bro, it looks so no, good. We don't even know. And we kind of need a wing, oh my God. So, anyhow, we are gonna be doing a couple things right now. If you guys like any of the things that are about to put on Blake's car, again, just check out Keys Motorsports down below. Make sure to use code NOR5 to get that 5% off discount. And they have a bunch of carbon fiber stuff. 5%, uh, 5% guys, I mean, it, it, it's something. Like, it really is something, especially when you're spending a bunch of money and you're buying a bunch of car parts anyways, might as well get that discount and you're actually supporting your boy at the same time. So, you know, why not use it? Bro, that thing is huge, huge. Oh, yeah. looks so good, guys. El Carbone. Already, and that, bro, it came with 3M and it has 3M already on it. Yeah, Brian's going crazy on that 3M. Bro. Giving it out like candy. <laughs> oh man, that is awesome. Nice. Guys, and this is the thing, I don't know if you guys really like, bro, like, do you feel the quality in that? No, it feels good. It feels super good. And a lot of carbon things I get, especially if you just get it off eBay, you notice that like only the tops in carbon and then the bottom is like yeah. indented inwards. Yeah. It's like super flimsy and or, thin. Yeah, like it, it's gotta be boxed in my Yeah. Opinion. If it's not boxed and it's like open on the bottom, first thing you hit it on, it's gonna- It's <laughs> exactly, shatter so in half. This so this will like skim off stuff, which we'll, we'll test it out when we get out of, <laughs> get out of the driveway. <laughs> We'll get that it's gonna get scraped it's inevitable but also they also have the screw holes that are already pre-drilled for you so it's not you're not gonna be cracking your carbon when you actually put the screws in which I really like as well um, yeah. and this is I'm assuming one of three pieces right or um, yeah cause or, I think we have probably sides like the little side splitters yeah that go right there right yeah. yeah yeah oh my god so. 
Bro, it's gonna look good. See you guys, awesome. <laughs> I actually have so many of these. I actually have like seven more over there, but I'm actually keeping a few for myself because I'm collecting each single color. I actually have one of the darker ones, which is one of the most OG uh, Keys Motorsports ones, and then we have some of the brighter ones as well. I'm giving away eight to the first eight people that hit me up on Instagram. We got the Keys Motorsport decal with the key tag. So if any of you guys want this, first eight people that hit me up on my Instagram, link down below, is gonna be getting these guys. First impressions on these bad boy splitters right here. They're pretty nice. Big boy, they are yeah. super nice. Yeah. Like right in here. Oh my goodness. Whoa, look at that fitment though. Actually, we don't even need tape. We'll just like, <laughs> as long as I never stop, <laughs> right? We'll just keep accelerating. Bro, but good. like fitment no, though. Actually, look at that, dude. That's like, look, I'm I'm giving it a decent tug. Well, that that's looks nice. amazing. Yeah. Oh man. Let's try this side. Let's give it a let's give it a look. Okay. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Dude, that, that looks really but, good. Dude, honestly, like just the part of the lip has already changed the front end of your car. Oh yeah, like this is an absolute must on like any M car. Well, any anybody that has like even if you have the conversion, but that just it makes the front. Like oh, you know, the buddy. front's good, but like without a lip, it ain't I know. proper. It ain't proper. It ain't so. proper, so you're gonna have to do it. Yeah. And you had one before, right? Yeah, I had the in performance one, which this looks pretty similar. To the uh, the in performance one that I had, let's hold it up here real quick, kind of give it an idea. I mean, we'll so it goes all the way over here like, like that. that. Okay, bam. Um, I think the one that I had before maybe protruded just a little bit farther, but this might be better for um, clearing curbs and things. Also, was yours a one piece or three piece? A uh, three piece, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. I actually like these three pieces too because you can just order this if you crack it and mm. these. You know? Yeah, save some cash. Exactly. <laughs> Plus, I don't know if you guys know, but if you guys get the one piece, typically the fitment is not as good as it is when you have the three piece, because you can literally line this side up, line this side up. If there's any flex, it's not gonna be messing up your lip or anything, and right. it's not the fitment's not gonna get bad over time. So, um, anyhow, uh, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get this thing mounted. God, dude. All right. Bro, that looks like an M4. Yeah. Like, yeah. now it stands out. Oh, like, can we even... <laughs> Bro, be careful, dude. Like, oh, my three God. Three fingers. For anybody that says, car's not low. It's low enough. It's, it, it, that's more than low enough. That's his right height, guys. That's not on bags. Yeah, this is like bag people. Are like, I'm on bags. <laughs> We're in the back of the M4 here. Um, last time I was working over here, I felt like Nor needed a couple more tools. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this for you, buddy. Nah. -huh. Yeah, M M12. This is like fuel. M12 fuel. The older impact wrench. Oh, it's, cool. it's cool. It's brushless. Three eighths. This guy had no three eighths stuff. So <laughs> Nothing, I'm like, dude. you know what? I can I can give you this bad boy. Um, Heck yeah. I think you have you have a charger. Yeah, you got I got a charger. Stuff, yeah, so. yeah, bro. He shout there out go. to you. Oh my god It's one of my few fuel things as well, and this thing is like powerful, isn't it? It'll do it'll do lug nuts and everything Yeah, no, -uh. yeah. yeah, you can bust stuff off. Bro, This is a lot you guys look at the one I have to carry everywhere with me this big old dude and actually, this thing stopped working on me a couple times. No, that's not good. <laughs> so this is, oh, bro, you shout out to you, honestly. Yeah. It feels like Christmas already. Dang, okay, no awesome. Guys, this is so sick. Like, look at the quality. Like, guys, honestly, this is such good quality. I don't even want to put it on Blake's car. I'm about to just take it inside and look at it. <laughs> Literally, like, it's just like an ornament, bro. It's so nice. It's one piece with no sharp edges. Here comes another one. Oh, my God. That's the big boy right there. All right, guys, so how to install this PSM diffuser. So the first thing we gotta install is pretty much this rear guy here, and then the big part, and then the two little side pieces there for the rear bumper. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and get into it. It's nothing too difficult, but we'll go ahead and show you guys the procedure. So we got the uh, little basic diffuser, if you will. So we're gonna click that in. There's a couple little tabs right here, and then there's little spots in this area that go. And then we have the mounting points over here, so we'll hit those with the screws. But pretty much, give the good old Bro, that looks. You whack, you know? Yeah. Bro, the fitment's really good. Wow. Yeah. So. <laughs> that is insane. You guys <laughs> insane remember how the. 
That is some perfect fitment, bro. Oh, oh that works. there you go. <laughs> that looks perfect, dude. Oh, yeah. oh my god. And that, guys, is how the finished product is supposed to look. So pretty much, it literally bolts in all original places. Like literally, we had we didn't have to drill in any new holes, which was absolutely perfect. So that is honestly amazing, amazing fitment, bro. What do you think, dude? What do you think? How's the fitment? The fitment was like really, really nice. I didn't have to modify any holes. I didn't have to get creative with any tech screws or anything like that. Everything lined up. One thing I did have to do is some of the uh, factory hardware where it had um, like a bigger washer on the head. So yeah, yeah. Take a peek right here, like uh, that, you know? You wanna make sure that you're using that type of hardware and not just like a normal screw. But so I just moved a little bit of stuff around. And because we had the other key stuff, we had a couple longer screws that worked out perfect. So the only thing like hardware wise, you might need those extra clips, uh, maybe six of those clips. And other than that, like perfect, dude. Everything lined up really good, all the factory stuff. And it's crazy because it's like three pieces in a line, you know? Yeah. The hand piece right here, like let's give it an alignment. It's pretty good. That looks good. Yeah. Um, That's insane. It is. All right, brother. Let's go ahead and back this puppy out. I have to move that block. Don't worry. As soon as you back it out. But, uh, okay. oh, man, I cannot wait. I mean, I hope you can make it off the driveway, bro. I know. You got to get some good shots of that. We'll see, uh, <laughs> we'll see how that looks. But... Yeah, look, I, I, lo I love the look of it. Uh, we'll it see. looks aggressive. We'll see how it is driving around, if I'm gonna scrape it on everything, but. All right, let's get it. sick. Sheesh! It's that race brakes, guys. <laughs> Go at an angle. Angle it. Bro, you're gonna. Ah! Oh, you're good. Now for the front. <laughs> oh, there goes the grass again. Oh, bro, barely. You're good. You guys are wondering why my brakes sound like that it's because i'm on uh race pads because i track the car so i have like g-lock r18s and r10s in the rear which is a super aggressive brake pad and that's why it sounds like crap but uh it actually <laughs> stops really good i don't need new brakes so <laughs> guys that is crazy right, guys at this point we are closing out the video and obviously we're not trading cars that that's not i mean i, I just titled the video i mean i missed april fools but yeah me too <laughs> It is what it is, uh, but obviously I just want you guys to really check out this video because we put up we put a bunch of carbon fiber mods oh, on yeah. the car, dude. And uh, obviously it's a good video. Dude. Like, yeah. what do you honestly? What do you think now dude, of your car? It looks it looks sick. Look, like let's get it. Let's let's show underneath. Like, there's no light of day. Look where that light of day happens. Like you literally <laughs> get. It's like this much. So That's it, bro. It's really sick. That's um, insane. We got to give it a, like a 140, 150 mile an hour tryout. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you got. Off on the Way. Um, Brian, you didn't hear that? <laughs> and <laughs> that was. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> so obviously, guys, if you guys want to check out Blake's car, he's gonna be tracking it. He's gonna be ripping it to 140 miles an hour in oh, fair yeah. and you know Mexico or something, right? No, in, in California at the track legally. Legally, there you go, there you go. So <laughs> if you guys want to check that out, make sure you check out his channel. It's gonna be linked down below. And also, if you guys want to check out Keys Motors for all the cool carbon fiber bits, make sure you check out the link down below. Without further ado, guys. Thanks, Brian. Later. Later, guys. Oh yeah, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one.